Hello and welcome to the Jerusalem Post Election Arena. I'm Gil Hoffman and today we have Yaakov Perry, former minister and former head of the Shin Bet. Thank you for being with us. Thanks. Uh, Yaakov Perry, your Yesh Atid party is running in a platform of fighting corruption. Is the Prime Minister of Israel corrupt? Well, it seems that based on uh, what we are hearing uh, in the news latest, is it the bottles, is it the uh, uh, travels abroad, is it the uh, um, uh, all kinds of uh, handling in his houses? Is it in Jerusalem? Is it in Caesarea? It seems to be that something is wrong, and I hope I hope it's not for the criminal uh, um, path, uh, but it has to be checked and it has to be cleared. And to my sorrow, part of the campaign is now dealing with the uh, corruption or with the uh, handling of uh, the uh, Prime Minister House instead of dealing with the important issues that Israel needs to deal with. Absolutely, and there's also been accusations from the Likud about uh, labor leader Isaac Herzog, the head of what we call in English the Zionist Union, being corrupt. Is he corrupt? No, no, I don't think so. And I, also, I, I don't know the details, but based on what the uh, Likud is uh, um, shouting lately, and the response from the Labour Party, of the uh, Zionist camp, it doesn't seem that they are financed by uh, uh, um, organizations that are not allowed to finance them. Uh, I know One Voice. Uh, one Voice is a, a group of uh, good uh, Jewish people from the, the United States who claims that there has to be a solution for the Palestinian issue. I don't think that they are going to finance the uh, Zionist camp in order to throw out Netanyahu from... They want Netanyahu out, that's no doubt, but I don't think... I, th I think it's an accusation which wants to grab the campaign from the main issue to, the, uh, to issues that are um, related to your first question, uh, the handling of uh, Prime Minister House, and it's not real. Is defeating Netanyahu important in order to make sure that there will be an agreement with the Palestinians? Can there be an agreement with the Palestinians if he's elected, and can there be if he's not? No, I don't think that there will be any agreement. Is it a regional one? Is it a bilateral uh, between Israel and the Palestinians? If Netanyahu will uh, stay as prime minister? For the last almost nine years, Netanyahu is uh, prime minister. Six years and three years before, four years before. And the guy doesn't move. Either he doesn't want, or he doesn't can, or he cannot, mm -hmm. or both of the issues. Mm -hmm. And the cradle is not moving. And it's a vital interest of the state of Israel to come to an agreement. My way, or my plan, is to go to the regional, regional uh, approach. approach. Uh, we, have, we are sharing nowadays same interests with Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, the majority of the Gulf countries, Morocco, etc. And we can come to a, uh, or initiate a uh, regional conference to deal with the Gaza issues, to deal with the end of the Israeli-Arab conflict, and to put the bilateral negotiation with the Palestinians inside this regional uh, but plan. only if Netanyahu is defeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 absolutely, because uh, I thought, and I wasn't the only one, that after a protective edge, uh, Mr. Netanyahu will go to a regional plan. He declared before the nation that there is a political horizon, something like that, and he didn't do anything. He misled the people of Israel? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, of course, there is a uh, debate between the, the public. What way sh sh we should go, if we should go at all, but the prime minister has to take care of our next years and the future of our children and grandchildren. Well, and Mr. Netanyahu is not doing it. But on that issue, on security, yeah. Israelis trust Netanyahu, according to the polls, much more than uh, Lapid or Herzog or any other potential leader. Unfortunately, that, that's a mistake, because Netanyahu is shown as, as Mr. Security. And uh, uh, people are not looking into the details. People say, 
Well, he, he has the, a lot of experience. He was the prime minister during several uh, operations. Uh, operations. And we are not ready to try another one. That's a mistake. That's a horrible mistake. I'm sure that another prime minister and another government will lead and will take care of the uh, security needs of Israel, not less, even better. Now, you than served Mr. in the security cabinet with Netanyahu. Yes. Did you see behavior there that, that is unbecoming of somebody in charge of our security? I'm not going to reveal things that have been in the cabinet, but I can tell you that based on what I saw, based on what I know, and I know Mr. Netanyahu for the last 25 years, there is no doubt that another prime minister and another government and another cabinet, cabinet will do it even better. Now, I know that uh, you obviously want Yair Lapid to be prime minister, but if Herzog becomes prime minister, can he handle uh, being in charge of security? The Likud has said not during the campaign. He will be helped by uh, experts, and one of them is sitting near to you. And we will give a hand to any prime minister. Is it Yair Lapid? Is it Buzi Herzog? Is it another one? that uh, will need uh, this help, he will get it, and the people of Israel can trust us, not less than uh, the guy who is serving now. But for that to come about, then Herzog would have to take Yeshatid into the coalition if he is the one who forms it. He's made quite clear that he wants the ultra-Orthodox to be there, which means that Yeshatid would not be there. Well, about the ultra-Orthodox, I think that Shas will uh, go with the uh, government at uh, Bougie if he will. Uh, um, try and, and offer them. It will be a problem with uh, the uh, other guys, with Litzman and Gaffney. But I think that it's possible that Tershatid will go with uh, Buzi and Livni and uh, Meretz and probably Kahlon or Lieberman. And there is a chance to uh, make a government without part of the ultra orthodox. Uh, Parties. Okay, uh, we've been told to ask some yes or no questions. Please. So, uh, returning to the pre-67 lines? Uh, yes. Okay, is Abbas a terrorist? He is not a terrorist, but he doesn't, uh, uh, I don't like his behavior. Dividing Jerusalem, yes or no? No. Is the Zionist Union anti-Zionist, the, the Labour Party in, in Hatanua? Not at all. Should there be an Air Force One for the Prime Minister and President? Not at this particular time. Maybe in the future when our economic uh, situation will be better. Do we need more electoral reforms beyond what was already passed by Eshatid in the outgoing Knesset? Yes. Like what? No, that's not, I guess I need to keep the yes or no question. I'll let them edit that out. Yeah. Uh, civil marriage, gay marriage? Yes. Uh, public transportation and supermarkets on Shabbat? Yes, only on places where we will not hurt the feeling of those who are living there. Okay, uh, should Sunday be a day off? Well, that's, uh, th that's a, a question that I cannot say yes or no. Uh, for the time being, if Friday and Saturday are free, we can live with uh, Sunday, which is not free. But in the future, it can be planned. Yeah. Wonderful, thank a long, you. A long weekend. That would be nice. Thank you very much, Yaakov Perry, for coming here. We'll have more candidates talking about the pressing issues of the election next week. Thank you for being with us.